All right, welcome to today I work on. And today we're gonna work on something kind of different. It's about food. So my favorite cheesesteak spot anywhere is Jim's on South Street. And they have like, if you ever been to Jim's, it's like nice and thin and lean, the steak. Those are my kids in the background. And I always wondered, how did they get it so thin? And one day I like snuck in the back and I saw what they do. This is a quick video. What they do is they freeze the meat. So this is a sirloin. So this is, it's a sirloin and don't mind the kids. My wife cut the fat off, I think. And we have a slicer. I've had a slicer for years. But well, watch what's gonna happen when I take this piece of meat and I start slicing it. What happens? So I'm gonna put a like, it's like maybe two at a deli. But look, look at that, I'm zoom in on that. You get that thin meat. So we have a we have a metal griddle. We actually can't use metal on this metal griddle because it's called chromium. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some cheese sticks. So what we do is we throw a little bit of oil, nothing crazy, and that's what Jim's does. Jim's does the same exact exact thing. They throw oil on. They throw sometimes a little bit more oil than I like. If it's super slow, sometimes Jim steaks a little bit too oily. I like it a little bit less oily. So that is how Jim's basically does it. Well, so they coat the grill just like that and then they throw the cheese steak on top. Cooking at about 350? Yeah, we do about 350 on our griddle. So you could also put a griddle here on the stove, doesn't really matter. And that's it. And then you'll throw a little bit of oil on top. No? no. Okay. Is so that too much oil? This is like some real nice lean meat. So we're gonna... Yeah, it looks really good. And we love cheese steak and you can't get up to Philly much anymore, so with all the kids. Mmm. That looks good. All right, now whatever cheese you want to put on, we like American, so instead of putting it on the roll, we just put it on top. I think it works. So there you go, and then you cover it up. And let that sit for a little bit. But I'll just do B roll. Now look, now it's all melted. Now that's more like a Steve style setup because they use like a melted cheese, but we like the Steve style. So it's a little bit of a combo. But remember, Steve's a slab. Yeah. It's not cut like Jim's. And that's it. That's how you make a, that's how you, that's how you make a Jim style cheesesteak. And again, you could put the cheese on differently. You could add any type of you could put mushrooms, you know, anything you want. What do you like? I like onions and mushrooms. Onions and mushrooms, but that's that's the preference. So we're running out of time tonight and we're just gonna stick with, okay. We're just gonna stick with a regular, uh, and we run out of, we run out of buns. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That's, buns. So that's how you make a uh, Philly cheesesteak, gym style basically. Uh, hope you like this video. If you like cheesesteaks, like it. If you like cooking videos, we cook a lot. So if you want to see other little tips and tricks, please subscribe. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.